Hey guys, so I know it's been about three months since I posted a video. Honestly, that's just because life's been a little hectic and uh, kind of ran out of things to talk about um, with Snyder and all that kind of stuff. But made a change again. Um, left Snyder about a month ago now, and I'm actually with uh, Carvana now. I drive a nine car hauler for them locally, um, based out of Winder, Georgia, and I service areas like Charlotte, uh, Nashville. Columbus, Georgia, um, a lot of different Georgia areas, and then I go up to Charlotte, Greenville, Columbia, Nashville, all that kind of stuff, just taking cars out there, meeting drivers, or actually dropping them off at locations for the single car haulers to take them out and deliver them to folks, or as from the, uh, the thumbnail picture for this video is actually the vending machine in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, which is eight stories tall and holds 32 cars. So if you choose to pick it up from that location um, or any of the vending machines, they all look relatively like that. They ship you out a big coin that you go, you put in the machine, pull a handle, and it actually brings your car down to you, which is uh, awesome. Next time I get a car, I'm probably gonna get it delivered to a vending machine, even if it means I have to drive about 200 miles from where I'm at right now just to get to one, because there's not one in Atlanta currently. But um. Yeah, so I moved over to Carvana about a month ago. Um, why did I leave Snyder? I uh, left Snyder because not, I mean, I loved working there. Great folks. Uh, they treated me well, all that kind of stuff. Honestly, I left because the Atlanta branch of the account I was on was closing. Um, I was on the West Rock account and they were closing the Atlanta warehouse. Um, so I was either going to have to go back out over the road or hope that another local position opened up within Snyder before um, that account closed. And uh, stumbled across the Carvana opportunity, um, which I absolutely love. Amazing benefits, great pay. Um, still work four to five days a week, still home every night. Um, and it's kind of a mix between the dry van and the flat bedding. Um, so I'm still, I'm getting kind of the work out of the flat bedding without the tarping, still have to strap them down, drive the cars on and all that kind of stuff. Not quite as physical as flat bedding, but definitely much more physical than when I was doing dry van, uh, where it was just all drop and hook with Snyder. Um, another benefit of it, I don't go the same place every day, so it doesn't get boring quite as quickly. Uh, so far, it's still very interesting, but I am still definitely uh, learning the routes and loading the cars and all that kind of stuff and getting faster at it, but just learning how to do it better. Um, but as I continue to go through that and get more information, I will uh, make more videos talking about it if y'all have any questions about um, car hauling or car or anything like that. As always, feel free to comment. I finally started getting back around to actually answering comments um, when y'all send them in. I'm going to try to get better at that again um, now that I'm finally getting into more of a uh, regular schedule kind of and getting back on a normal sleep schedule, I'm gonna start working on that again. Um, but yeah, so go ahead, shoot me over any questions you may have, I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, yeah, so for the rest of this video, I'm probably just going to uh, go through and uh, answer some comments in a video as I normally do, um, most of which I've already replied to, um, actually in the comments and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so, uh, here we go, and videos should start coming out a little more regularly again because I think there's going to be a lot more to talk about driving with Carvana than there was with Snyder just because no two days are really the same anymore. Um, but, yeah, let's start with... Let's see. Where do we want to start? All right, let's start here. Brandon777374, is the Pittston PA facility available for students or is it only Missouri? Um, so that's asking about Prime's Pittston facility. Uh, when I was leaving Prime, they were finally getting Pittston set up to where they were starting to do some training there. Uh, Missouri is the main facility, but you can train in Pittston now, I do believe because um, they were just starting to train folks while I was there. So I don't know how big that's gotten since it's been seven or eight months, I imagine that that's actually become a pretty uh, good training facility. Shaq the Trucker Man, what do you what do you do for health insurance? I'm thinking about going to Prime um, 
to last. I guess that's to lease, but I'm worried about health about that health insurance. Um, with health insurance, I actually didn't have any when I was with Prime. Um, but if you do lease, you're gonna go through the marketplace, um, just healthcare.gov or whatever the heck it is, or you can go and they have somebody on site in Missouri. I don't know if they have somebody on the other locations that will help you find insurance as well if you want to schedule an appointment with them to go ahead and do that. Um, but I went through the marketplace at first. I was paying like four or five hundred dollars a month. I went about two months and then canceled it because and just decided that I needed to try to stay healthy um, because I, I couldn't afford it anymore. Um, Amy Young, and these comments right now are three months old, so I'm sorry that it's been such a long delay. Um, but yeah, uh, Amy Young, thank you for the videos. I'm about to embark in this career. I know it will be tough, but I'm excited. Good, it is. it can be a very, very fun career path. And yes, it is a little tough, but heck, I saw 48 of the 50 states in a year. Um, so yeah, that was definitely a very unique part. Didn't make a ton of money while I was doing it, but I did get to do something that most people pay to go do. So that was pretty neat. Um, 102 Hollywood. Uh, can you have another person drive your truck on your home time so the wheels keep moving? Um, only if they're your full-time co-driver. So while you're driving your driving team with them if you want to go home and they don't technically they could stay out in your truck but no you cannot take your truck home and just have a buddy or something jump in the truck and keep driving it while you're home because um, even though you're leasing the truck from prime it's not actually your truck it's still their truck you're basically renting it from them so you still have to they have to be an employee of prime um to be able to drive the truck so i hope that answers that um Uh, Adrian McGinnis, I couldn't find the video when you were showing your truck at Prime, but I had a question about the DirecTV. How much does it cost, and does a TV come with it? Don't know how much it costs or how much, or whether the TV comes with it. The guy that had the truck before me left it in there, and DirecTV never turned the service off. Um, so I just used it, figuring one day they would turn it off, and they never did. So I honestly don't know how much it cost. I'm um, sorry I couldn't help out with that. Uh... The BAM, thanks for the, all the great info. I'm happy to hear about you being able to do CBTs in your hotel room. How long does it take to get through them? And are you tested on them? Took me about two nights probably to get through it. Um, a few hours just mainly because the Wi-Fi was so slow and most of them have a test on the end, at the end of them to make sure that you actually paid attention and didn't just sit there and let them run while you're doing something else. Um... John Benzeleski, F team training, team driving is a nightmare. I do agree. I do not want to drive team. Um, didn't enjoy it at all. Mr. Fantastic, me and you had a pretty good conversation going back and forth. Um, I remembered you as well um, from training with Prime and talking about the uh, app for the uh, help and pass the written test and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, as I said, I'm not with Prime. I've went from Prime to Snyder, and now I'm over at Carvana. Um, Michael Doherty asked the same thing. Am I still with Prime? Um, Mike123, um, I'm still trying to stay on good terms with Prime, but uh, thank you for your comment. I'm not going to read that one out. Um, Cooper, you have all the risk when you do lease. Yes, you do. That is their whole point of it. You have all the risk, and technically you should be able to have some of the reward, but I figured out that the reward's only kind of only there if you're either willing to run like crazy or um, you're driving team and you're the primary. Uh, Greg Hurley on my Why Did I Choose Prime video. Great video. Thank you. Um... Trucking with Prince, how is your home time? With Prime leasing, I could technically go home pretty much any time I wanted to. I went home every two to three months with, and I at first I did two to three days. By the end, I was doing seven to ten days um, just because over the road was wearing me out and I just wanted to get back home, which is why I'm doing all the home daily jobs now, and I'm actually making significantly more being home daily. I guess that's the benefit of having experiences. Once you have experience, you can start getting the higher paying jobs that have much better schedules to them. Um, 
but and then if you're company with Prime, I think you earn one day of home time for every week that you're out. Um, and I think they have a cap on how many days straight you can take home while you're company. Or technically, as long with lease, as long as you can make your truck payment, because it's going to keep coming whether you're driving the truck or not. Um, you can stay home pretty much. I think it's up to 30 days straight, and then they consider that you're not with them anymore, or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Uh, you ho or yo or um, now I have four subscribers. Yeah, I actually was shocked the other day to see I had six. I have over 600 subscribers now, and once I hit a thousand, I've already got the 4,000 viewing hours. Thank y'all for that. That's pretty awesome. I did not expect to hit 4,000 viewing hours in under a uh, year. I think I'm up to like 5,000 now, and you need 4,000 plus 1,000 subscribers to get start actually getting paid off of YouTube, which is pretty neat. Um, and then Yo or Yo also said, keep on telling your stories. That's one way to release stress. It is, um, and I'm going to get back into talking about being over the road and all that kind of stuff, so... I'm definitely going to start getting back into that. Um, prime, le prime Flappa, Lease Income Versus Expenses, Michael Rodriguez, what are you making a month on average? Um, I don't know. I think when I made that video that you commented on, I had been doing it for... Uh, how, how, when did I post that video? Hang on. Um... The answer is not nearly as much as I wanted to, um, but let's see, how long ago did I post that video? Uh, view more. Um, I don't remember when I, I don't remember when I posted that video, but, um, I think I was seven or eight months, maybe nine months in, so I was I was making probably all together on my taxes, I think after a year I grossed I grossed less than thirty thousand dollars before taxes, um, after all of my expenses and stuff, so I was only making a couple like mm, what less than three thousand dollars a month after expenses and everything and that may have just been mine because i know there's plenty of folks out there that make good money leasing um even with prime i just i didn't um but yes yeah, so i was making less than three thousand dollars a month well under three thousand just a little over two thousand dollars a month um my actual take home while i was out there which is kind of sad Literal news headlines, yeah, I remember this uh, conversation going on. That's a neck beard if I've ever seen one. Thank you. Um, I have shaved the beard a little bit since then. Just got tired of it. Um, but thank you for noticing that I had one heck of a neck beard. I do appreciate that. Um, double O or double lot. Um, can I go to Prime and have my own truck? Yes, they do have um, power only options where you go in and you just pull their trailers and their freight. Um, not quite sure how that works or how that pays out. Um, don't know anybody that ever did it, but yes, you can. Um, truck exterior. Albert Martin on my uh, truck exterior and equipment organization. Um, that was awesome. Thank you. And yeah, I'd like to meet you someday. I'd like to be a truck driver. That would be my dream someday. Well, I hope we get to meet someday, Albert. I do love meeting uh, folks who watch my videos. I've met a few of y'all, and it is definitely a very uh, very cool experience to actually have folks out there that watch the videos and actually want to meet me. Um, Lexus Living, what's up, man? Quick question. To be able to drive local, do you have to have some over-the-road experience? You have to have some over-the-road experience first, correct? Thanks in advance. For most local jobs, yes, you're going to, since they're the more desired jobs, they're the ones that a lot of folks want, um, you are going to need some over-the-road experience. That's what most of them are looking for, um, especially if you want to get one that actually pays pretty well and can uh, compete with what you're going to make over the road, or in my case, significantly beat what you can make. I'm making, God, almost three, now I'm making almost three times what I made with Prime. Um, and I'm home every day, which is nice. Um, 
I'm sure there's a couple companies out there that would hire you without it, but the ones that are going to pay the best are probably going to want at least a year of over-the-road experience. That's what a lot of the higher-paying companies want is at least one to two years of experience. Um, Joseph Stanley, I drive TMC as a company man and clear an average of 1100 a week and have zero investment in the truck. It's pretty good. Um, it's actually very good, especially with zero investment in the truck being company. Um, Malik Smith, thank you for your videos. They have been very informative in, in helping me make my decision in changing careers from 25 years of executive driving in the entertainment business. Ride shares, companies like Uber and Lyft have killed the industry. I love driving and have and I've driven long hours in cross country in the past, so that's why I'm considering trucking. I'm researching these schools to obtain my CDL Prime, Rail, CRST, Expedited, Sage, Roadmasters, PAM, KLLM, and so on. I'm trying to decide which school will help me reach my goals. I'm 50 years old with all grown kids. Well, that'll definitely open up your options with the all grown kids and all that kind of stuff and just get being willing to get out on the road and just go and make money so i want to be out eight weeks at a time then five days home i think a lot of those companies would be pretty cool with that especially being out eight weeks straight and then only taking five days home i'm looking to drive over the road and learn the business as a company driver for the first year i would definitely recommend that after uh having gone lease first and driving company now um averaging 3500 miles a week 125,000 miles a year that's definitely very doable. I averaged, I think, 130,000 miles a year while I was with Prime, maybe a little more. Then become a lease operator for two to three years, learning the business and building my own business credit. Then after three years, finance a truck on my own to become an owner operator. Then build my own small fleet of three to five trucks. Please let me know your thoughts on CDL schools and which company will help me reach these goals. Um, I mean, the only school, I mean, I went through Prime Inc. I got great training um they definitely trained me very well um prime has a very good training school when i was looking i was also looking at crst and uh, klm and snyder um i mean they're all great companies they're all going to train you very well there's very strict safety regulations in place now and they are all and companies are becoming all about safety nowadays um because they want to cover their own butts um, and make sure that nothing happens because everybody is so litigious and so happy when it comes to anything trucking wise. As soon as you tap their car, it doesn't matter if they were drunk driving down the road, they're automatically going to blame the truck driver. So uh, trucking companies want to make sure that everything is top notch now. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are all going to be great schools, I'm sure, since you put that comment in about a month ago. You've probably gone through now and figured something out. But uh, if not, I mean, they're all going to be great schools um, and companies, and they're all probably going to be pretty cool with your um, goals. And even if you end up at one for a year, like Prime for a year, just to get the experience in the industry, get the training, all that kind of stuff, and then move on somewhere else that pays more, um, and you end up leasing a truck from an outside company and going driving for one of them. So you're kind of a mix of lease and owner operator. Um, or do what I did with Prime and go lease on their side once you have the experience. Either way, you're going to get a great, um, great experience out of it. Um, and a lot and very good training. And it's definitely going to open up your prospects as to what you can uh, move on and do with it after that fact. Um, Jeff Glines see your comment again trying to stay positive with the companies i was with and uh future ones and all that so uh thank you for the comment um pedro not sure how to say your last name i don't want to butcher it i was the one who made your 600 oh your subscriber number 600 well thank you man that's awesome welcome to the uh welcome to the subscriber group um, Mike Nicolette seemed like an honest dude, but owe them 750 in a week for pulling their loads and let them manage your money. Hope you're out, bro. That, that was definitely a week, a week to behold when I owed them $750. That was, uh, yeah, that was painful. That, uh, that was kind of eye opening right there, but yeah, I'm, I've been out for 
seven or eight months now and I am loving life um, with the new company I'm with and everything. Um, with I loved it with Snyder, I love it even more with Carvana. Um, Elder James, as a lease driver, what company can you take your truck home with you during home time? Yes, um, I always took my truck home with me during home time. If you go home under a load, you have to have somewhere secure to park it, um, a secure facility to make sure that nobody can get to the load and uh, potentially steal your load. Um, if you go home empty, which I did most of the time, I'd go drop a load and then pull an empty trailer, and then I'd just park the truck somewhere and leave it connected to the trailer since there was nothing for them to steal off of the trailer except my equipment, and uh, so Prime didn't really care. But yeah, you'll take your truck home with you unless you're local to one of the terminals like Pittston, Salt Lake, or Springfield. Then most people park their trucks there just for the uh, added convenience of an easy place to park it that's nice and safe. Uh, John Doe, how come everybody I see with a lease looks sad? I responded to that one. Um, Jessica Stanfield, are you cute and single? First part of that's kind of your choice. You decide that's um, kind of going to vary person to person am I single yes um South Georgia Thomasville eh, I cruise down there sometimes um and what am I going back to school for I'm currently going back to school for IT which is another great reason uh another reason I chose Carvana with it being a fully online um car buying company there are no dealerships and uh so I figure I'm planning on building a career here this is if everything works out the way I'm intending it to, this is going to be my final truck driving job and my final, hopefully this will be where I build my career. So once I get my degree, hopefully I'll be able to move up within the company um, onto the IT side or wherever they let me move up with. I, I love the environment, the people I work with, the way they do everything. It is just an amazing company. And uh, if you get a chance to join Carvana, I highly recommend it. They treat us amazingly, amazing benefits, great pay, uh, just a great company. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, Tyree1481, does Prime take the money automatically out of your check every week while lease driving? Yes, they do. Uh, they take everything automatically out of your check before they uh, pay you. Um... Leapy Express, okay, most are somewhat right. What? Most are somewhat right, but anyone wants to know the full truth about trucking, I go live today and tell the truth of what you need to know. Give me a reply, I go live. All right, so that may be somebody else to watch. I mean, everything I've told you all is the truth. I mean, heck, I went line by line through my paycheck. Everybody's experience is going to be different. So when I was going to get into trucking, I watched five or six different folks just to get more than one person's perspective because everybody is going to have a different experience in the industry. The things that they go through are going to be different. Uh, so that might be another person to go check out and see what their experiences have been with it. Um, another honest person to check out. Um, Robert Rockwell, no way you can make money with a lease. Just listen to what you're saying about all the things you have to pay for. $1,000 a week for a truck, $70 a week for an APU. Sorry. Um, sorry they got you into the lease. Um, yeah, I mean, I learned a lot, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad that I'm out of it. Um. Candy, I was talking to you earlier while I was riding back, while another guy was driving the truck back. Um, being a company driver solo, how many miles will they give you a week? I mean, they're going to run you as much as they can because the more miles you drive, the more money you make, but also the more money they make. So they're going to run you pretty crazy from what I've heard. But, uh, again, I never drove company, so I'm not quite sure. Um do you learn all about securing loads and different types of loads and training before you go solo? One would hope because there's not much margin for error. Yes, that is a big part of TNT is your trainer is going to teach you how to secure the loads properly with all the varying different loads. But then also before you go out on the road, um, before they give you your own truck, you are going to have to go through Prime's um, securement class, which is two or three hours of sitting in a classroom with 
a uh, gentleman whose name I forgot, but he has been doing it for years. Um, and I believe he had a health thing that made him have to come back off the road. So he's now teaching securement and the proper way to do it. So you have to go through his class and complete it to his satisfaction before they will allow you to go out on the road. So yeah, they make sure again, for safety that you know what you're doing before you go out. And then why did I leave prime for Snyder? One to be home every day. Um, I got tired of sleeping in a truck and having to try to find spots in the truck stop and all that kind of stuff and just never seeing my family and friends. Um, I've always been kind of an introvert and been good with minimal human contact, but being out on the road constantly kind of showed me that I actually do need to interact with people and my friends and family and all that kind of stuff more than just over the phone. I actually need to see the people I care about and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that, and then it was... It was a pay increase, five days a week, and I was making more money. Um, so I left and took that opportunity. And, uh, yeah, I'm very glad that I did. And then one more question, sorry. Is it is it best to get a year at your starting company before making a move to a better, higher-paying one? I've heard most companies won't hire you unless you have a year under your belt. I would, oops, I would recommend it because... Um, yeah, most companies are going to be looking for a year or, oops, sorry, a year or two of experience before, especially the higher paying ones are going to be looking for a year or two of experience before they will hire you on. They just want to make sure you know what you're doing because they're going to give you a minimal training before they send you back out. They're going to teach you their way of doing things, their safety rules. And when I was with Carvana, I mean, I spent a week pretty much on the yard, just learning how to properly load, drive the cars onto the truck, which cars needed to go where, how to operate the hydraulics, the securement rules, all that kind of stuff. And then I spent another two weeks riding around with other drivers, um, learning the routes and how to get in and out of different cities and the different procedures and all that kind of stuff. Um, so most companies, like when I was with Snyder, it was a week of class, one week riding with, or one day riding with a driver, and then here's the keys, go get at it. So a lot of drivers that are going to be paying, a lot of jobs that are going to pay better are going to be looking for experience. So I want to make sure you know the hard parts, the driving, all the rules and regulations and that kind of stuff, and then they're going to just teach you the basics of what you need to know to be able to do that position at their company. Um but then companies like Snyder will start putting you in the experienced driver class with about three to six months of experience. Um, and Snyder did pay a little bit better than what I was making with Prime. But then to get into Carvana, I needed at least a year of over the road, or at least a year of experience before they would even consider me. Um, I'm pretty sure that's still the rule right now since it's only been a month since I applied and got the job. Um, but... Yeah, so that is most of, well, we're 27, 28 minutes in now, but that is a lot of the comments from the last three months. Um, again, if y'all have any questions, shoot some comments over. I'm always happy to answer them, and uh, more videos coming soon. Until then, y'all enjoy. Drive safe.